Hi everyone, I'm back with another One Brand Makeup Tutorial. On this video, I'm going to create a look by only using makeup products from a brand called MKUP. First, I'm going to start with this face mist called Q10. I'm going to spread it all over my face before I apply the makeup to keep my face moisturized and fresh. Next, I'm going to apply the sunscreen. It also works as a makeup base or moisturizer. It provides SPF 30. It feels moisturizing, but it does not leave the skin feeling sticky or heavy. Next, I'm going to apply the base. I'm going to use this foundation stick number one for my whole face, then use the darkest color number seven for shading. It has a soft texture, so it's really easy to apply. Then I'm going to use this Beauty in a Box makeup sponge to blend the foundation. The foundation itself is quite easy to blend, but the use of sponge makes the application a lot more easier. As for the foundation, the result is quite matte, but the coverage is just alright. It managed to cover up my complexion, discoloration, and my pores quite well, but I can still see some of my blemishes are not properly covered yet. As for the shading, you can use a brush or directly apply it on your face, but for the area around the nose, I would suggest you to just use a brush. It's pretty easy to blend and the color is pigmented, it's not too dark and it blends well with my skin tone. Next, for the concealer, I'm using Perfect 3 Essence Cream Concealer. There are three options, you can use it for highlighter, concealer, and shading. Even though it's a cream concealer, the texture is not as thick and it does not make the skin look cakey. And because of that, it does not have as much coverage, but you can always add more because it's buildable. For the powder, I'm using this mattifying air veil mineral fixing powder. Then I'm going to use this big powder brush to pick up the powder. The brush feels really soft. It's made of ultra fine fiber. It helps the powder blend pretty well. As for the powder, it managed to conceal my pores really well and it doesn't make my skin look cakey. Next, I'm gonna use the highlighter. The color of the reflection is quite white for the highlighter, so be careful when applying it. You don't want to apply too much or else it will look really weird. Then I'm going to do my brows using this brow design kit. It contains a triangle pencil tip, an air cushion powder head, and a tinted mascara. First, I'm going to draw the shape of the eyebrow using the triangle tip. The color is very pigmented and thick, and it does not suit me very well because I have thick eyebrows. And I would prefer that it comes with a spoolie brush rather than a cushion head because the cushion head does not help with the blending very well. If you are done with drawing the shape of your eyebrows, now you can use the mascara and brush it on your eyebrows hair. Moving on to the eye makeup, I'm using this Hot Nudes eyeshadow palette. And first, I'm going to use this red color all over my eyelid. The color is a little pigmented, so I'm gonna apply it in light tint repeatedly to get that even look. Mm. 
Then I'm going to take the color beside it. It's the same color but it has glitters in it. Then starting from the center of the lid, then slowly blend it outwards. Then take the gold color and just slowly tap it right in the center of the lid. I'm surprised at how pigmented it is and it looks really nice and I think this is suitable for you guys who goes to party often as it makes your eyes stand out. And apply a little bit of light brown color at the end of the corner of the eyes. Next, I'm going to apply the eyeliner using this Tattoo Black Pencil Eyeliner. It has a super fine elastic yet soft tip that really helps with the application. Because the tip is very fine, please be careful when applying it so that you don't draw the lines too thick. You can also add a little bit of black eyeshadow or smudge it to get a more of a blended look. First, I'm going to use the lip color balm on my whole lips. Then, I'm going to draw slightly over my natural lip line to create an overdrawn lip effect. I love the texture, it feels moisturizing and the result is glowy and it looks very natural. If you want to create gradient lips, you can also add a darker color on the inner lips. And I'm using the super long lasting lip pen in red color for the application. Last step for the blush, I'm going to use this eyeshadow stick number 4, it's a peach color. The texture is almost the same with the foundation sticks but it's slightly more creamy. It's very pigmented, easy to blend and it's buildable. I'm applying it on the apple of my cheeks, a little bit higher near to my eyes for a little bit of under eye blush effect. <laughs> In my opinion, the products are especially suitable for you guys who just started on makeups. The products are easy to use and the quality is pretty good. Not to mention, the price is affordable as well. Mm -hmm. 